guys matter country song teacher I thought I'd quickly do a guitar video to show you something if you're gonna write songs you're figuring songs out whatever it is you have to have to know if you've called my other lessons you know I'm not a big music theory guy. I kind of get to the point show you with a few basic chords mostly G C E minor D you can play all the songs you want and that's true you can use a capo all that but there's a little chart. I'm gonna have this on my website, or you can just, I'm gonna put this up here for about five seconds if you ever wanna just pause the screen and see this and zoom in. And what I'm gonna go over is, when you are learning songs, you wanna know there, when you learn the key of a song, that's the root note and what song, the key the song we played, sang, and so forth in, there are only a few chords you can play within that key. So as long when you're first learning guitar, let's say the key of G. If you're learning songs in that key of G, almost every chord is going to be a G, C, E minor, or D. So on this chart, it's called, and this is the number system, but and I, and a lot of times when I start getting music theory, I lose people, but hang with me there. Let's look at this first blue category, or the yellow. The number one, and it says C, D, E, F, G, and so forth. What you wanna know is saying that G, you, look, you wanna look at category one, four, five, and six. That's when you look at this chart, if you're a beginner, everything should be about one, four, five, and six. So this category, this one, this one, and this one. So in the key of G, it would be G, C, D, E minor. The reason they're four, five, and six, that's distance from the root note, we won't get into that. But if you're playing a song in the key of C, right here, it would be C, F, G, A minor. That's what you'd play. Don't go beyond those four chords. If you're playing, say, the track chords, type in Matt McQuid track chords, if you've heard, man, I need to put that shade down. Hold on a second, the sun's on my eyes. If you've heard me talk about Matt McQuid track chords, the um, that's in the key of E. So you go right here, it would be E, A, B, C sharp minor. Now again, you we don't need to even get in this video how to understand that or transpose chords. You can type in Matt McQuid transpose chords. But this is just important for you to know because if you're playing the key of A, it's A, D, E, F sharp minor. I recommend on all the seven major chords, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, knowing what is the one, four, five, and six. You just want to memorize that because what happens a lot of times is I've said before, what really helped advance my guitar playing is learning to write songs. So if you're going to write songs, you need to know those chord groupings so you can stay in the key. You can't be playing G, D, E minor, B. See, the B, the B just doesn't go. That's not in that key. So if you know... You're writing a song G, D, E minor, C. You can hear, you can just hear and tell how all those chords go together. Now again, if you're just the first lesson you've seen of mine, you're saying, is he always that boring? No, I hate teaching this stuff because people want to know. Rock me, mama, like a wagon. basic chords to play songs and so forth. But to advance your playing to write songs, you need to know chord groupings. Understand, 
what 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 are the four chords? The one, four, five, six in a G key. G, D, C, E minor. Okay, what are the what's the one, four, five, six? Type it even Matt McCoy guitar numbers for and I explain this even better in more detail. But you can use this with piano, with guitar, whatever, this number system. And when you're writing songs, you'll know what groups. I'm gonna put this chart on my website. Go to countrysongteacher.com, link will be below, and you can see this chart what I'm talking about. But understand you should work on how to play the one, four, five, and six from this chart. It's called the chords in all major keys. I'll put it up there. Um, so again, it's kind of a boring lesson. Um, let me leave you with a little song there um, that's fun to play. Shenandoah. Guys, go check out my uh, uh, Snapchat Guitar Teacher 44. I have a lot of fun with that. Uh, I got my DVDs and all kinds of information on my website, Country Song Teacher, so be sure to go check that out. Uh, please like the video, uh, even if you didn't like it. Sometimes I'll actually tell people, go don't go um, thumbs down if I do bad. This one, the video is boring, but still give it a thumbs up. Come on, help a brother out. I got two kids and diapers, right? <laughs> all right, guys. Let's go eat dinner. God bless you.